Hello everyone. In this brief video, I'll be showing you how you can refine your results from quick search. So using the example library assessment, we'll see we have close to 1 million results. That is obviously way too many. So we will have to refine our results here on the bottom left. So one way that I find is very quick to cut through our million results is that let's say we want to look at only physical books held by the library. And I'll come down to creation date also, and I'll change this to 2020. So let's say I only want to see physical books that the library has from the last four years. So very quickly now, I'm looking at 15 results instead of 1 million. So these filters can be a kind of great way for us to limit our results to have a much more manageable uh, search results page. I'll reset that just because I want to highlight a few others which can be very useful. We have available online, so if you want something that you'll have access to instantly, we have um, peer review options. So if you need peer reviewed articles or journals for a project, this is a great option. I really just want to point out subject because this will be, I think of them as tags. So out of the almost million results that we are seeing, these are kind of all of the other ways or the other tags which have been given to these articles. So I see right here, 12 of them have been tagged with academic library evaluation. Maybe that is a better search term than library assessment for my purposes. So let me select that as well as information literacy, study, and teaching. Those maybe might have might be a little closer to what I'm actually looking for here. So with that limit now, very quickly, I'm looking at 50 results instead of 1 million. So I just want to highlight the importance of using these filters on the left-hand side to limit our results.